All right, today we are headed to um, BC Racing uh, to pick up some coilovers that I ended up winning at the uh, Alpha Class uh, Good Vibes meet for, uh, uh, for Alex. I ended up winning BC coilovers, so I'm actually going to pick them up, which is kind of cool because I've never been over there. And I've got, I've got Shane with me. He's gonna be the, he's gonna be my little cameraman for today. What up, what up? He was just saying something interesting about the Supra and about Toyota and uh, their cup holders and their lack of cup holders. Nowhere to put this bottle. In the 80s, man. and then how tundra. the Tundra has like, what is it? What ten? Do we count? Eight, ten? Or eight or ten. Yeah, it was something outrageous. I know it was above, above ten, standard. I think. I think it was, to be honest, I think it was actually like 12. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it, man. Because I think I think either Cole or uh, uh, Cole or Dom. Dom counted. So yeah, we're all on our way to BC, and uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so as I said before, on our way to BC, uh, I gotta check the maps. Uh, we haven't seen any mysterious uh, 240s or JZXs running around. You know, uh, cause I'm, I think BC is very close to like Adam LZ, and I think I watched his recent video. Jimmy Oaks is in town. I'd love to see that JZX just rolling around. That'd be so sick. Uh, yeah, we're going to BC. We're gonna talk to uh, Wes. And BC Racing for all your custom coins. Look at that E36. That thing's tight. Oh, there's an E28. There's an SC300 in the back. Oh, that's Wes's car over there at Cressida. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Look at all the, look at all the BMWs across the street. <laughs> <laughs> that's sick. Okay, we are here. Hell yeah. <laughs> you want a set? I want all the sets. If only they made them for Jeeps. Jeeps, or I get a car. Which one's less expensive? <laughs> They're both pretty expensive. Exactly. Dang. These are sick. Getting these Johnnies. Oh. What? Oh. You see, you can take a look around. Yeah. I'll give you a tour of the whole place. Look what you do. You got the tone get yours. It's like, yeah, I'm ready for it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's actually my, I had the same car, my first car. Yeah? Uh, yeah, one of my first two. Oh, sweet. I had two of those. Yeah. It is for sale. Oh, yeah. 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 This one's 50 Q, uh, single turbo. I think that's like a 70 trim. I forgot the, the actual True. Yeah. numbers on it. Oh yeah, precision. Yeah. Um, it just came back literally four months ago from the yeah. they rebuilt it. So literally a brand new Ooh. turbo. Um, that's insane. Yeah, that thing is wild. Yeah, custom DC Ford wheels, suspension. So, who got these? Actually, this used to be a time attack car that the boss had to let me go in. And this okay. is like a shape on top of the wheel. Okay. Obviously, it's going to be 
this is really good on my own. You know, that's what's used for them. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, this is, you know, low cage, everything. So, definitely ready to go, man. It's been tied with everything. Oof. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And this one used to, this one is a twin turbo BQ. Damn. Yeah, I really like the BQ. So how much power does that put out? I don't even know the numbers. I have this one I don't even think has been dyno yet or mm -hmm. uh, tuned yet. Mm -hmm. So that's Damn. just a base tune and then this one I don't even know. This would be before I even got here. Damn. This sweet. This is one of his first builds. Actually, I think that is his first build. We saw the picture on the wall. Yeah, this one made it in the magazine. What? This one was three times kicking ass and taking names. That's insane. to be like very perfect. You yeah. know, I don't I don't want to mess with it too much. I think Chris made it his uh red and then top perfect. So I don't know what I was like, but these are all the custom built guys. So yeah. So this is what they did. Yeah. So you can see it's this, you know, parts sort of regular screen so yeah. Yeah. So it's cool. It's great to have you. Oh, yeah, it's just cool. Thank you. I really appreciate it. That's the guy with the guy on the back. Okay. Ray, you remember this is a thing that guy who won the raffle? He says he's got a lot of pictures of your car. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, I got, I got a couple from the Good Vibes meet. Nice action together. Mm -hmm. You know. Good stuff, so it works in there. It's good. Good to see you. This is our sales team. The tech team. Stuff. Can't forget it. car stuff forever. It was really hard to talk him into like filming? Alright. Okay, so we're we're leaving BC. Um talk to talk to Wes. He ended up, you know, hook, hooking me up with all the coil over and stuff and bringing them out. Super nice dude. Um and of course, our car stuff and whatnot. And uh, everybody at BC was really cool. I got to see Marco. I saw him like a long time ago. I don't think he remembered me, but uh, he's really he's really cool. Um, I'm just gonna roll through PSI. Look at the cards and stuff. Dang, it's so tight. And then oh yeah, that's that's Tommy's chaser on Blitz wheels. I think sick. And then you guys have seen this before. That chaser is so tight. This is like the perfect setup. Oh my god, there's a 2002 Beamer back there. That Land Rover is pretty wild too. What the heck? <laughs> there's so many cars and stuff out here. <laughs> this place is wild. All right, so that's pretty much 
Uh, that's gonna be it, probably for today. Um, that's about it. I'm gonna map my way home so we can get home. That's gonna be pretty much it for today. Um, if I do record any more, it'll just be like going over the box and like the BCs and stuff. Maybe unboxing and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that was sick. Super hyped I got to do that. So there they are. So stoked. Um, hopefully we'll be putting them on soon. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll definitely see because of course priority number one is the white car. So it might be a minute before these go on, but the rate I've been going lately, uh, it might be sooner than later. So uh, we will definitely have to see, um, as you can see in the label. For my car specific, of course. Um, MA70. And then I got 16K in the front, 9K in the rear. Because um, that's kind of currently what the car is set up with on the tie ins. But I can, of course, go. Um, I can do the. Uh, there's a lot more adjusting with these. These have like a 30 point adjustment for softening and stiffening. Um, whereas the current ones are, I think, like 16 point or something like that. Um, so there is definitely a lot of more room for adjustments, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm sure quality will be a little bit higher, so we'll definitely see, but, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today. Um, thanks to 42 subscribers. Hopefully I edit this video fast enough and I don't have to keep doing a little thing, but. Sense.